The second performance of the evening is Nema Bagamhunda's work in progress. We always have this uh, joke about Nema. Nema's entire uh, catalog of dance is full of work in progresses. She loves it. Like, she loves it. Because she's always in the process of creating a thing. And her work is, like, there are always two hours. And it's a lot. So by the time she presents it, it's performance worthy. But she'll tell you it's still work in progress. And you wonder, what do you still want to add? Nema's performance, that, uh, that performance was amazing. Uh, the performers for Nema's work was Briano. We see Brianna again from Marion's uh, short film to Neymar's stage. Neymar choreographed Brianna and Maulid, who are also very dope dancers. I love the chemistry between these motherfuckers. Like, where? Um, I love the... I don't know if that was very intentional, but from someone who's ever been choreographed by Neymar, I know Neymar is intentional to the heights of the dancers she uses to, like, their physique in like the way they balance each other out and even their technique because Maulid um, does more of uh... Brianna has because I've known Brianna for longer so I was I thought that Brianna has done dance uh, Brianna is really a contemporary and ballet person so it's a lot of technique Brianna loves technique and Maulid felt like more of dance theater and just contemporary dance he doesn't have a lot of his, his contemporary dance is not influenced so much by ballet and it looks also influenced by um what is it called uh lyrical dance i really think maulid's uh dance background is from lyrical dance not uh ballet like brianna's and that made them really balance each other out on stage because maulid would be like all mellow and everything and then Brianna is just cut through. Um, I loved watching them perform. Those guys and, understand uh, each other at an amazing who level. The one? Who was the short one? Maulid is the taller one and then the shorter one is Brianna. Yeah. And the way they worked with each other, the way they worked with the space, the way they worked with the lights and lights of course will be good because it's a la coque, da, like that guy, if there's one thing he understood is dancers need lights, like, and he's never looked back. Alakok understands lights. And that's why it was so amazing to watch the performances all evening. Every performance that was on that stage, the lights were amazing. And Alakok creates that was like with the mood and everything. So they, they even work with the photographers. So that's why Alakok and Lati they understand each other. They come and consult each other. Like, so that light, how does it look on camera? How does it feel when it's recorded? Yeah, and they work together, so it makes a lot of sense. They even have their photographers. So when you get your work from them, it's really comprehensive work. It's really amazing and beautiful work. I loved the work that Nema did with Work in Progress, uh, which Work in Progress Nema also does that work where she talks about everything. Uh, she'll touch on everything in different ways, in very subtle ways. Like the, the, that theme had greed. It had all this like freedom. It had struggle. Um, she touched everything that could have been touched. Give me a minute. Yeah, she touched everything that she needed to. Um, and that, that I found so amazing the way she's always able to do that, that you won't ever feel her leave one thing to the next, but you know that she's not talking about something sort of different. Nema's understood dance theater to a way that even her choreography of someone raising their hand is something. I hope that at some point we understand um, choreography to that place here. Yeah? Oh, Africa moment. Oh my God, I'm hoping that Ida. Ida, hi. Um, Ida is my choreographer. <laughs> so this world. 
<laughs> it's very wild. <laughs> Aida is my choreographer. Um, uh, so, yeah, Neymar really did an amazing job with that choreography. I really, really enjoyed watching those guys perform. Um, it felt freeing. in the way that they expressed to themselves and then the, their chemistry was also very good that in the way they moved in the even in the moments of their improv they were very aware of each other in the space that even if they were not in contact we we knew that they knew each other like they knew that the other person is doing this and all that and then the counts of their contact improv was also the same I I loved I generally enjoyed uh that entire performance from its technique to theater to how dramatic they decide to be and when they're dramatic I love that those guys even in their faces they were one yeah the way they were choreographed even in their faces they were one and Neymar does that Neymar is phenomenal Neymar is amazing I think that's one of the best choreographers I've ever worked with Yeah, somehow the best choreographers I've ever worked with are women. But Nema really keeps me in touch with their emotions and she did an amazing job with Maulid and Brian and Briano considering Maulid and Briano are also already doing contemporary dance so it wasn't much and then the fact that she went with dance theater then keeping them in technique I really love that because most of the time when you keep people in technique you lose so much it becomes a recital instead of of performance and that's the difference that's the difference between performance and recitals it's not a recital it's people are supposed to feel something people are supposed to break people are supposed to feel all these things and then you just keep bring us to ha, 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 ha. like we can do that but in that moment let people feel what the dancers are feeling and trying to communicate which i felt work in progress did it perfectly don't ever expect name as pieces to ever have a name don't <laughs> they always be called work in progress then 